quite weird how in this first half we've got two rock songs that kind of talk about are trying to do a similar thing they're trying to do this kind of like reclamation thing of like taking a negative stereotype about women and try to flip that as a positive kind of thing and um whether or not either song succeeds in that is completely up to you but uh, i just found it quite that was quite a funny coincidence for me um uh, I was initially surprised that um, they picked this to open the semi-final because arguably the, the Rasmus are obviously arguably the most internationally notable act in this semi-final. But then I, then I heard some arguments saying that maybe it's just like kind of like a ploy for the producers to start with a known name to kind of get bums on seats if that makes sense so yeah i kind of understand where they're getting with um in terms of the semi-final i've struggled to see much of a reason why it wouldn't qualify uh and and i've heard that apparently they're gonna make the staging even bigger like like things hanging from the ceiling level like i mean asked the uk and spain last year how that worked out for them but um which leads me to like even though i think this is likely qualifying i worry that in the final they're gonna get embarrassed and um yeah i just um yeah it's a bit weird with this one because yeah but yeah, um, I, de- I definitely agree that I was kind of surprised that this was chosen as the opener. Although, as you said, Carly, maybe that was to kind of um, attract attention with a big name. I mean, they did it last year with Sunny 2 opening with Flow Rider. Um, so, yeah, they might just be trying to repeat that in a sense. Um, but yeah, I think it's a kind of decent opener to the semi. It kind of gets the uh, crowd going in that. Um, as for the song, I mean, it's not exactly my style, but it's, it's, it's kind of not without merit either. I mean, it's quite it's well produced. Um, it's very much within the Rasmus's style. Um, you know, I don't feel like they've necessarily tried to make a song for Eurovision. It's this sounds like how I imagine a Rasmus song to sound. Mm. Um, but having said that, I, I don't know. Like um, the song for me kind of lacks. Um, well, the melody for me is a bit weak and also it kind of lacks a bit of impact. Mm. Um, I mean, not to compare it too much to last year with Blind Channel, although I wasn't ma- a massive fan of Blind Channel's song, it was definitely impactful, yeah. um, hence why it got you know such a good result in the final, whereas I feel like Feminicia is kind of missing that impact. Um, in terms of qualification, it probably will qualify, um, but I'm not I'm not 100% sure at the same time because, um, I mean, a lot of the Rasmus are obviously a very big name. I mean, I remember them from my childhood. Um, you know, will that be enough to kind of um, get the bring the Televosas out? I mean, in the past few years, you know, Finland have sent Sara, Also and Darude, which are quite two quite big names, and that's not, not necessarily translated mm. into a good result. So, um not entirely sure, but yeah, I think it's you know, it's it's all right. Although the, I feel like there are other options in UMK that I kind of personally preferred. But there we go. Uh, what about you, John? Oh, so you know, in 2016, when Justin Timberlake showed up at Eurovision. <laughs> oh God, yeah. <laughs> and everyone was so excited, especially the fans that were going to be in the live audience at this huge world star was going to be there and they were going to see them live. And I was so nonplussed. (laughs) Um, um, Yeah, that's kind of how I feel with this. Um, I mean, I I don't hate it, but it it feels a bit like they're phoning the song in. Some of the lyrics aren't very 2022. Um, I'm not a fan. I'm sorry. But it'll probably make the final. Yeah, I don't I don't necessarily agree that they're phoning it in like the impression I get that they're making like quite a bit of effort and you know because like I remember 
like watching the postcard in UMK and they were talking about oh we got um Desmond Child who we previously collaborated with to write the song that kind of like I mean I mean Desmond Child's not exactly the most relevant name in the music industry right now but it shows that you know they they want to make an effort which is you know more than we can say about um certain other big name artists that have um, showed up in the past um but okay. um well I, I cheerfully withdraw that statement then. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, anything else on Finland before we do the first scores of the night? Nope. Okay, so I'm going to give Finland a three. Um, it's a two. It's, it's a, a two, two for me. Okay, and the public, give it a three out of five. 